Bonjour, my friends. It is I, the Kim, the Biodu, back into my origin game. Um, yeah. So apparently they have a new... Anyway, welcome... This game, this game got way more fleshed out in the previous year, huh? Years, huh? Anyway. Oh, I should probably play this on a controller. I got a PlayStation 5 controller here. Alright. I just hope it is, is it partial or is it full controller support? I must know. I must know for the science. Anyway, speaking of science, uh, science, I am going to be looking at stuff from the Natural Human Genome Research Institute. If you live in America, you know exactly where this is from. I'm going to be looking at the glossary index on human genome stuff, including cells, genetic code, and whatnot. If you like this kind of content, hit subscribe and tell me what your favorite fact is. Anyway, I will be playing the game, but first I need to really look at, um, I really need to look at what control, if this needs to be in a control or not. Yes! <gasps> okay, so I can play this game with controller, how fun! Anyway, we're gonna be going from A to... Why? Anyway, let's let's first start with a add a scene and go on from there. All right. Awesome! I got myself some livelihood. Is this game better with a controller, or is it better with a... You know what? I'm just actually going to be playing with a keypad instead. I, could, I mean, keyboard! This is a board, and this is a pad. If I, I'm still confused. Call it which one to this very day. If you... If I call this, I... Bo if I call it, start calling this a board, smack me. Alright. Alright, let's... Let's first start off. We start with Planetfall. So, Adeusine is one of the four nucleotide bases in DNA, with the other three being cytosine, guanine, thymine. Within a double stranded DNA molecule, and. At, hang on. I'm gonna put this up. Adeusine bases on one strand pair with thymine. Bases on the opposite strand. The sequences of the four nucleotide bases encode DNA information. I'm not going to go too deep into it. Unless if I want to start talking about whole DNAs in general. But yeah. Adenosine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine are all very important. Within our everyday lives. And also just... Life in general. Now, give me that oxificator. And I will... Place it right here. God, I... I hold up. I need a... I really want the controls in this. What is... What is right click? Better. Now I have way more movement options. All right, let me just plug in you, good sir. So I actually have the power of power. Okay, that's the second achievement needed. So we got Alil. I actually kind of almost forgot about this one. Just a tad bit. 
So, an allele is one of two or more versions of DNA sequences, a single base or segment of bases, at a given ge genome. See, my brain is collapsing in on itself. Gen gen DNA location. An individual inherits two alleles from from each parent or any given geomet ge <laughs> geometric location where such variation exists if the two alleles are the same the individual is homozygous for that allele if the allele is different the individual is heterozygous. So it's like the same thing with um, the sexual tendencies between a gay man and a straight man. Except th it, this one's actually for the benefit and not causing harm to one or another. <laughs> you might actually remember that from like... Yes. Yes, little astronaut dude. That is a point. You might actually remember this from like putting squares and whatnot. Anyway, give me the reward. Thank you. All right. What's our What's our next objective? All right. Connect. I mean. Ah, shoot. They actually made it look kind of nice. Actually. They actually look better. I actually like this. Is it because they added the steampunk version on this? If so, yes. Oh, here comes one of my personal favorites. Amino acids. An amino acid is, a, is the fundamental molecule that serves as building block for proteins. Like, say, a um, single, double... No, wait. Uh... Primary is it primary or single? Primary, secondary, tertiary, quadrant. Yeah. There are twenty different amino acids. A protein consists of one or more of amino acids called a polypeptide, whose sequences is encoded in a gene. Some amino acids can be synthesized in the body, but others, essential amino acids, cannot and must be obtained from a person's diet. What that actually means is that you can only get certain DNA, well, certain amino acids from eating food, you know, like meat, meat, fish, or spinach, if you like to be, like, vegetarian or whatever. But either way, you if you eat something and it has amino acids in, the, uh, in it, it's good. But the other 20 is non-dietary or genetic amino acids, which is part which is part of the sequencing to make other proteins, which I'll get into later. If you actually want me to. If not, bug some other YouTuber. Anyway, where's my suck? Okay. Ah, yes. Did it get bigger? Or or did it look way more interesting? <laughs> oh god, it does. What the heck happened to this thing? It looks so different. Alright, did I actually collect my reward before I start uh, breathing in space? Yes. I got a container. Yes, now it could contain dirt. I like how I double pointed, like that's gonna cause any anything. Man, that is actually kind of loud, not gonna lie. My ears are actually bleeding. All right, I got four compounds. Cool, where is resin? Man, I really wish it wasn't, um, nighttime.
There's some resin. Is there anywhere closer, though? Oh, yeah, that's closer. All right, I made it. It took a little bit. And now I can only grab certain ones from a distance. Awesome. Ooh, I completed another achievement. Did I complete another achievement? I don't know. I gotta look at my, um... That is the wrong thing to look at. Nope, that is still the wrong thing. Mission log. There we go. Oh, hey, I did. I did complete a, another mission. So that means it's time to... Oh, I have not learned about this one. And you, Beloy. Beloy D. And you, Beloy and Upiloidy is an abnormality in the number of chromosomes in a cell due to the loss or duplication or duplication. Mm. Oh, that's what it is. In humans, Upiloidy would be a number of chromosomes other than the usual 46. But wouldn't pairs of chromosomes be 23? If that was the case. But, by the way, this is actually a reference to a certain certain disease known as Down Syndrome. Anyway, did I receive any rewards during that time? Or am I just... Or am I just me? Uh, no, I just earn like laboratory bits and jangles. Cool. Now that I know that I'm feeling dirt gives me like rewards for whatever reason. All right. Next stomp is, ooh, animal model. An animal model is a non-human species used in biomedical research because it can mimic, mimic aspects of a biological process or disease found in humans. Animal models, mice, rats, zebrafish, triggerfish, lion, giraffe, bears, cheetahs, wild buffalo, and others are sufficient sufficiently like humans in their anatomy physiology or response to a pathogen that researchers can exploit the results of animal model studies to better understand human non physiology and disease by using animal models researchers can perform experiments that would be impractical or ethically prohibited with humans ah right I <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> this makes sense, but the wording in the last sentence there is kind of brutal. <laughs> but yeah, I actually understand. This is actually how the first vaccine was actually manufactured, was actually made by um, a cousin of the smallpox being cowpox, which actually made the first vaccine was actually just sticking another d disease in us called cowpox, which is less deadly than the smallpox. It was a cousin, yes, but it also prepared our immune system for stronger things. And also note to self for people in fact for vaccines have a little late to the party. But it, it just shots. Just get it. <laughs> I don't need to tell you twice. I'm pretty sure you all heard it before, so get the shot for heaven's sake. But also, do not get the shot while you're sick, because it would actually weaken your immune system so much it might actually kill you. So that's why. That's why sometimes it is harder to actually deal with certain vaccines, or actually gets worse. So, eh. So, do research.
especially on um, especially on websites such as these. These actually help quite a bit. Anyway, a uh, mission log. All right, combine the cable. Electrical engineer practice says. <laughs> and this is what we call 3D printing. Nice. Oh, I didn't notice that everything is reflected on my helmet, which actually looks really nice. All right, I just need to combine it on this thing. Open it up. Buzz, look, it's an alien. All right, then we got printing up. Let's see here. Print medium and slot medium printer to platform. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anticodons. Oh wait, anticodons is next. A codon is a DNA or RNA sequence of three nucleotides or trinucleotides. If you really want to get fancy, that. Hang on, I'm I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. That forms a unit of gen genetic information encoding a particular amino acid. An anticodon is a trinucleotide sequence located at the one end of a transfer RNA or tRNA, if you really want to get fancy once again, molecule which is complementary to corresponding codons in a messenger RNA or mRNA, if you really want to get fancy. <laughs> that did not sound professional. But who cares about professionalism around this channel? Sequences each time. Oh, sequences, period. Each time an amino acid is added to a growing polypeptide during protein synthesis, a tRNA anticodon pairs with a complementary codon on the mRNA molecule, ensuring that the appropriate amino acid is inserted into the polypeptide. You know, you couldn't just send matches into the codon and it would have made it a little bit smoother. And you would get the same point across if you didn't use the word inserted. Alright, let's put the large ones together with the let's put mediums to mediums together and we'll put largest to largest together and we'll put smalls to smalls together how does that sound makes it sound a little bit better than it is there we go all right let's see what else we got all right so we gotta make a okay unlock the unlock and print the smelting furnace and refine aluminum from laterite all right where do i find the 